Each day is an open door, a fresh opportunity to welcome God's presence into every moment, every task, and every thought. Picture your day as a blank canvas, waiting for a touch of divine color and purpose to transform it into something extraordinary. Whether in the quiet morning hours or the busyness of the day, each moment holds a sacred invitation to experience God's presence. When we consciously invite God into our day, the ordinary becomes infused with His peace, wisdom, and strength. Today, let's explore how to embrace His presence in practical ways throughout our day. At the end, we will pray together. So I encourage you to stay until the end and receive the blessings of this prayer. Psalm 37 colon 5 tells us, Commit your way to the Lord, trust also in Him, and He shall bring it to pass. This is an active, daily commitment, a choice to trust Him with our lives, and in return, He leads us on the right path. As we invite God into our day, we prepare to experience His blessings, guidance, and provision. Now, let us focus on three essential steps for welcoming God's presence into our daily lives. First, start your day with surrender. When we begin our day with God, we shift our focus from the pressures of life to the one who holds our lives in His hands. Imagine the peace that comes from starting each day by surrendering our plans, our worries, and our hopes to Him. Instead of rushing into our tasks, we pause saying, Lord, I surrender this day to You. Guide me, lead me, and be with me in everything I do. Surrendering your day is an act of faith. It's a declaration that we trust God's wisdom more than our own. Proverbs 3, 5-6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He shall direct your paths. Even if your day seems predictable or routine, God's hand can be seen in the smallest details. Starting with surrender invites Him into those details. It allows us to see His hand at work and opens our hearts to be guided by His Spirit. When we offer our day to God, we let go of the need for control, and in return, we receive His peace. Think of Jesus, who often withdrew to quiet places to pray before making significant decisions. Luke 5.16 In those moments, He connected deeply with the Father, seeking His will and guidance. We, too, can find that stillness each morning, whether for a few minutes or a longer time, and surrender our hearts to Him. It's in these moments that God speaks to us, gives us clarity, and fills us with His peace. The beginning of the day sets the tone for everything that follows. When we surrender our plans to God, we invite Him to walk with us through each step of our day. Second, invite God's guidance in every decision. Life is a series of decisions, some big and some small. Every choice we make shapes our path. Inviting God into our decisions is a powerful way to welcome His presence. Proverbs 16.9 says, A man's heart plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps. This reminds us that, while we have our own plans, God is the one who truly guides our way. When we bring our decisions to God, we acknowledge His wisdom. It far exceeds our understanding. Whether it's a decision about work, family, or a personal matter, God's direction brings clarity. Seeking His guidance can be as simple as taking a moment to pray before making a choice. It's about aligning our desires with His will trusting that He will lead us down the best path. Sometimes, the decisions we face may seem overwhelming, 
we may not know the right direction. That's when we need to trust that God sees the bigger picture. James 1 verse 5 encourages us, If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all liberally and without reproach, and it will be given to him. When we seek God's wisdom, we open our hearts to his answers. His guidance may come through scripture, through the Holy Spirit's prompting, or through wise counsel from those around us. By inviting God into our decisions, we invite his peace. We can trust that he is leading us in the right direction. Taking time throughout the day to pause and ask for God's guidance brings a sense of calm. It prevents us from rushing into decisions, keeps us from acting out of fear or anxiety. Instead, it helps us act from a place of trust. As we grow in the habit of seeking God's will, things become clearer. We start to see His hand at work. We begin to see how He orchestrates everything for our good. 3. Carry His presence with you throughout the day. The third way to invite God into your day is simple. Carry His presence with you in every moment. This doesn't mean stopping everything. It doesn't require spending hours in prayer. It means recognizing that God is with you in everything you do. Isaiah 41.10 says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Carrying God's presence means living with an awareness of His nearness. In moments of stress, we pause. We breathe and remember His peace. In moments of decision, we whisper a prayer for wisdom. In moments of joy, we thank Him for His goodness. By doing this, we stay connected to Him. No matter what the day brings, His presence becomes our strength and peace. John 15.5 says, I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. By staying connected to Jesus, we allow his peace to flow through us like a river. His spirit strengthens us in difficult moments. He comforts us when we feel weary, and he fills us with joy. Whether you're at work, with family, or alone in a quiet place, you can carry his presence with you. Trust that he is working through you. Carrying God's presence doesn't mean life will be without challenges. There may still be moments of difficulty. But when we are rooted in him, we face these challenges with a deeper sense of peace and confidence. We know that God is in control, and we know that he is walking beside us every step of the way. Philippians 4 verse 6 to 7 reminds us, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. This peace surpasses all understanding. As we carry God's presence with us, His peace becomes our shield against worry and fear. As we wrap up, I want to encourage you. Begin your day with surrender. Seek God's guidance in each decision. Carry His presence with you. When you do, your day becomes filled with His peace. His wisdom will guide you, and His strength will support you. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Almighty and everlasting Father, this is the day that you have made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. I come before you with thanksgiving and praise, for you are holy, and your glory fills the heavens and the earth. You are the Alpha and Omega, the one who was, who is, and who is to come. Lord, your power has no end. Your wisdom knows no limits. 
Your love for me surpasses all understanding. You are my strength and my refuge, my fortress and my shield. You, O oh God, hold the stars in place, and yet you care for every detail of my life. I lift up your holy name, for you are worthy of all honor, praise, and glory. There is none like you, Lord. None can compare to your majesty and goodness. Lord, I thank you for your endless mercy and faithfulness toward me. Thank you for the gift of life, for every breath, and for each new day you allow me to see. I thank you for your presence in my life, for guiding my steps, and for being my present help. Thank you, Father, for your daily provision, for your grace that sustains me and for your spirit that lives within me. I am grateful for your forgiveness, for the precious blood of Jesus that cleanses me from all sin. Merciful Lord, I ask that you forgive me for every sin I have committed, whether in thought, word, or deed. As you forgive me, I also choose to forgive those who have wronged me. Cleanse my heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Father, I invite you into every part of my day, into every decision, every thought, and every action. Teach me, Lord, to surrender fully to you, to trust in your wisdom rather than my own. Help me to walk in your peace and to rest in your presence, even amid life's demands. Let your Spirit guide me, filling my heart with your truth and leading me in paths of righteousness. Strengthen me, Lord, to face each task with confidence, knowing that you go before me. I declare that I will not lean on my own understanding, but I will acknowledge you in all my ways, trusting that you will direct my paths. In the mighty name of Jesus, I rebuke every spirit of confusion, doubt, and fear that seeks to cloud my mind. I bind every distraction and stronghold that would attempt to pull me away from you. In the name of Jesus, I declare that every plot of the enemy against my day, my thoughts, and my purpose is broken and nullified. I stand in the authority of your word, declaring that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I declare that my day is covered by the blood of Jesus and protected by your hand. Lord, I pray for your abundant blessings upon my life and the lives of my loved ones. Let your healing flow through us, touching every part of our bodies, minds, and spirits. Heal us from sickness, from anxiety, and from any form of brokenness, and restore us to wholeness in you. I declare that we are healed by the stripes of Jesus. I ask for your protection over us, shielding us from every attack of the enemy. Let your angels encamp around us, keeping us safe in every step we take. Bless us, O Lord, with favor and grace, opening doors that no one can shut, and pouring out blessings above all that we ask or think. Lord, as I say this prayer together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is opening before you right now. We come in agreement, lifting each other up, asking that you work powerfully in our lives. Lord, let your Holy Spirit move among us, transforming us, renewing our minds, and drawing us closer to you. We ask for strength to walk boldly in your love, courage to follow your guidance, and wisdom to make choices that honor you. Mighty God, as we invite you into our day, we ask that you bless us in every moment, protect us in our comings and goings. In the name of Jesus, we declare healing and victory over every area of our lives. We believe that you are working all things for our good. Surround us with your love, protect us with your peace, and fill us with the joy that comes from your presence. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer. 
In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you are blessed by this message, type the word Amen in the comments section below. I declare that all the blessings of this prayer are now upon you in the name of Jesus. You can help us reach more people and spread the gospel by sharing this video with a friend or family member who needs the blessing of this prayer.